is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are going to be messing with the WPL C74. Now in my last video I said that I don't believe this thing is a 110 scale. I think it's more of a 114, 16, 12 scale or something like that. I was actually wrong and I did my research on it when comparing the measurements from the one to one to this guy because in real life the Suzuki Jimny, Suzuki Samurai, they are small vehicles. And when you compare the measurement from that to this, this actually does turn out to be a 110 scale. It comes out to be like a 1.98 or something like that. So it's a 110 scale. Now, again, this thing looks absolutely awesome. Um, I have not done anything with this guy since my last run because of the rear drive shaft. Now, I guess WPL with the new batch that's going to be coming out, they fixed this issue. But for us that got this during the pre-release or that got this at the, during the release, then um, this guy that got this during the release, uh, there was an issue with the rear drive shaft binding up, and it was binding up bad to the point that driving it even just holding it like this and accelerating you could see how choppy the rear was it was actually the whole drivetrain it was just causing the whole drivetrain to just start binding up and everything um, so I came to find out that the rear drive shaft was actually the issue so what I wound up doing was I have as you guys can see here I have a drive shaft in a metal drive shaft that is off of a C24 now I had talked to I think Liam from WPL and tried to figure out what the issue about this was and he came up with the conclusion or WPL came up with the conclusion that you can order a dry shaft kit that they have in stock which is this kit right here it's for the 4x4 I'm going to have the link down in the description below that you can put onto this guy but the one of the things but one of the things that you're going to have to do is flip the rear axle so that the drive shaft will work on here because if you don't end up doing that I can find out that I think this drive shaft is about the same drive shaft as the one that comes in the kit and that's what happens so let me show it to you again so over here, it looks all nice, fine and dandy and hip, zippity doo day, zippity doo da, and all that good stuff. But once you start driving with it, what's going to happen? Bam, right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. So that's where we're at. So this drive shaft, I think this drive shaft would probably work on here if I ended up flipping the rear axle. So. When I spoke with Liam from WPL about it, uh, he did recommend getting the 4x4, the 4x4 drive shafts for this guy, not the 6x6, you want the 4x4 drive shafts. Again, the link will be down in the description below. And all you have to do is just reverse or flip the rear axle and these drive shafts are going to work for you. So. That's what we're going to be doing with this guy. We are actually going to be putting the drive shafts onto the C74 and see how it's going to do. Let's go on ahead, take this guy apart. I probably put a driver in here, <laughs> maybe. So let's go on ahead, take this body off, and um, let's get cracking on this guy. Let's go. All right, so instead of taking off the whole body, re removing the chassis from the body, what I just did, what I'm gonna do, is just remove the screws off of the front link, front of the leaf spring, and just flipped it up like this, so that way I have access to the leaf 
screws that are holding the axles to the leaf springs. All right, so, all right guys, so now that we got the rear axle off, uh, in my case, it's sitting this way, so the axle was like this, and we gotta flip it this way. So with that, that's all you gotta do, and just put it back on the leaf springs, you're good to go. Now on the front end, what you gotta do is reverse everything <laughs> on the front end here. So what I'm gonna do now is take the whole front end apart, take everything off and reverse everything. So I'm gonna help, go ahead, take all this off right now and I'm gonna show you guys what you have to do to reverse the front end. All right guys, so here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. Back you up a little bit, all right. So here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to wanna to reverse the pumpkin to be on this side here. So to, in order to do that, again, all four screws here in the front, I already took mine out, but the four screws in the front, you undo those, and you pull the back off, you pull the front part of the pumpkin off, you're gonna want to pull that apart, take the gearing out, now, what you're going to want to do so that the steering and everything is in the same dimension so that everything stays the way it is here. What you're going to want to do is take all this off like that. Okay. You're going to want to now flip this this way. Put all of this back together like that. There's one. Two. Put all that back in. Flip that guy like so. Make sure all your bushings are in where they're supposed to be. There you go. Put this guy back in place like so. And there you go. Now you grab rear cover make sure you put the way the pinion is going make sure you put it on correctly put that guy on like so grab your front cover put it on like so And there you go, you reversed. The front drive shaft has been reversed so that the axle will be able to rotate the proper way. All right, you guys, so after you guys end up reversing, flipping the axles on this guy so that the four by four axles will, drive shafts will fit on this thing, the next thing you're gonna have to do is it's easier to just take the whole chassis off of the body. And when you do that, be careful because you're gonna have the battery lead coming into here. It's gonna be coming into here and the lights. So be careful when you go to pull this off. Uh, the next thing you're gonna to have to do is either one of two things. You're gonna to have to either take the motor out and flip the wires so where the positive was, put the negative, and where the negative was, put the wire, put the positive on. So you're gonna have to flip the wires because if you don't end up doing that, what's gonna happen, because unfortunately, 
on the controller for the C74, you don't have a throttle reverse. So you can't just flick a switch, reverse the throttle on this thing. Um, what you can do is probably just do away with the electronics and just upgrade the electronics, which I might end up doing to this thing in a later date. But right now, I just want to show you guys what you can do to end up getting rid of that drive shaft binding that's been happening with the C74. Um, I did speak with Liam from WPL and I believe they are working on drive shafts for this thing, metal drive shafts that will correct and do away with all that binding up of the drive shaft. So Liam and WPL, they are aware of the issue and they are working on the problem. So one of the problems that has to get done in, until the new drive shafts come out is basically this, what I'm going to show you. So one of the things you can do with the leads from the circuit board here is basically flip, come on closer, the leads from the motor that are right here, that's coming right from the motor there. One of the things you can do is reverse these two right here. So you can take the pin out of this, you can take the pin out of the red side here and move it to the negative side and take the negative side and move it to the plus side so that way the motor will work the right way so that the car doesn't go end up going backwards so that's what I'm going to do I was going to reverse the pins here and the way that you do it is you basically be very careful when you do this basically get your blade Put it right in here and there's these two little so right in there there's these two little clips right there and right there you're going to want to push those clips in to be able to get these guys out and you're just going to reverse Put the negative side on the positive side and the positive side on the negative side. All right, you guys, so there it is. Got everything put back together again. And as you guys can see here, I reversed the rear, I reversed the front. The four by four axles work on here perfectly. So I'll just do it like this and you guys can see, there you go on the front and on the rear, the drive shafts are not coming apart. So that is a good thing. That is absolutely awesome. So the other thing I did, hopefully you guys can see right there, I ended up putting the 155 wheels on here and I think it looks absolutely awesome. I think these 155 wheels look better on here than the stock wheels that were on here I to me I think the stock wheels the wheel itself is just too small for the body I think the 155s work out perfectly now if you do go to get 155 for your C74 you got to be careful on a couple things so one of the things that you're going to want to be careful with if you do go to do 155s on here is when the articulation on here. So when this thing does articulate, when there is articulation, uh, hopefully you guys can see on the front, hopefully you guys can see that there's articulation there. The tire does end up rubbing on the front bumper and it does rub a little bit the other tire is rubbing. It doesn't rub that much on the back, but on the front you see that there's it's rubbing up against the bumper, so you'll have to trim a little bit of that bumper there. The back, there is no problems at all, as you guys can see. No problems at all with the back. 
And on the side here, if there is some articulation, again, the tire does rub on the front, right there on the bumper, but on the back, when you go to turn it, it does rub a little right there, as you guys can see it. So you will have to do a little bit of trimming on the front bumper here and on the back. Uh, these tires that I have on here are actually 75, 76. I think they're about 76 millimeter tires. Um, I just redid the back one and it came up to 70, 75.9, 76. So they're 76 millimeter tires. I want to see if I can find, um, I think RC four wheel drive actually has 155 tires that I think are going to look awesome on here. I just got to make sure they are less than 76 millimeters um, or 76 millimeters or less that I got to find. But these wheels on here do add some weight onto this thing. So I believe now with the weight that this guy has with these wheels, I think this thing is going to perform so good. The other thing is the electronics, going to have to upgrade the electronics on there, which I do have. I ended up picking up the Spectrum 2-in-1 40 amp brushed 2-in-1 ESC and receiver. Uh, so this guy is going to be getting thrown in here. But that's not going to be in this video, that will be in another video. So. Hopefully, this will help you guys that have the issue of the binding. And as you guys can see, come on, that binding Let's see if I can change the throttle right here. Come on. So as you guys can see, that binding up, that binding up that was occurring uh, when I took this guy out of the box, that's completely gone. Again, completely gone. It works so much better. Yes, there is some things that you're gonna have to do, but the end result, awesome. So without further ado, Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You all have a good one. Keep RCing.